It's John Jay and Rich. It's time for a love up moment, a very special love up moment. Now, we're all going to hear about this all at the same time. Only producer Bill knows what's going on. So, Bill, welcome to the studio. Fill us in. All right, so I received the nomination for a love up moment all the way back in September. Uh, the nominator wishes to rem- remain anonymous, and we're going we're gonna to do that. So the email that I received told me about this girl named Priscilla. She's 16 years old, and she is a former foster child. Uh, from what I'm told, from what I understand from the email, her mother was, uh, her biological mother was always in and out of her life when she was a baby, and then when she was a preschooler. Uh, the mom couldn't hold on to a job. She didn't seem to care about her kids. She had seven kids. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, my. And eventually, she gave them all up for good. Her father was always in and out of prison. Um, her grandparents had custody of uh, Priscilla for a few years, but her grandparents passed away. She mm-hmm. was living with her aunt for a while, but then the aunt developed health issues, and she oh, could no geez. longer care for her. She was living with another foster family for about a year after that, but then found her forever family when she was about six, seven years old, and then was officially adopted by this family at uh, about nine or 10. And her older brother was adopted as well. He's 17. Mm. How old is she now? She's 16. Wow. And there's even a younger sister in this family as well. Who She's not a biological sibling of Priscilla, but she was also adopted. So this family, this, this family sounds amazing. They have three kids total. All of them adopted. Oh, wow. This person that met her was so impressed by her and inspired by her. That's why they sent the email. Her, everything about her, her attitude, her maturity, how hard she works at school. And so I think this email stuck with me because, you know, doing what we do, we hear so many stories about foster kids. And you know that a lot of those stories don't have happy endings. Mm. Uh, but it mentioned in the email that Priscilla is a huge fan of the band Why Don't We? Okay, so that's where part of the surprise will be in. Yes, now, when that, she comes that in detail here, will make sense a little bit later. This week I found out that we have this incredible opportunity that involves Why Don't We? So I remembered the email from September of last year. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I thought, instead of having me tell, tell you guys how great Priscilla is, why not have her mom write her oh. a letter, write Priscilla a letter? And so oh. we have the letter, and so Priscilla is going to come in, and she's going to read the letter that her mother wrote her. Wow, that's going to be pretty heavy oh, for I a six-year-old. I mean, just, which just first of all, to be in the studio with us. Yes. Right? And then to say, here's this letter your mom wrote you, and then we're going to hit her with our surprise. It could be crazy. All right, so we bring her in? Yeah, let's go get her. All right. Hi. 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 How's it going? I want you to meet everyone. Come so. we, we have something for you, okay? We're going to hand you something. We want you to read it. Now, would you mind reading it out loud? Yes. Okay, so you'll read it out loud. Mm-hmm. Take your time. Just whatever emotions flow from your heart, let them flow. Okay? okay. So here, here is what we want you to read. Dear Priscilla, my dearest Priscilla, a.k.a. Billy Bob, I want to take a couple of moments to tell you how incredible you are. I, uh, you came into my life when you were six years old, a tiny little girl who had already been from more than one child. More than what, sorry, than any child should have to go through. From the moment I met you, I knew I wanted to be your forever mom. I was blessed with the opportunity when you were nine years old. Watching you grow throughout the years has been one of life's greatest gifts to me. Even though the first few years of your life were very rocky, it's okay. You have held your head high and overcome the obstacles that were set out for you. You have grown to be an incredible young woman for goofy, your goofiness, your knees slapping jokes, the way you sing and dance around the house and the car and in the stores and your many accents you use have all been a bright light in my life. You have turned your educa- ooh, education in school school work around for the better you have a good head on your shoulders it has been an honor to be your mom you deserve a life for nothing but happiness i i will forever cherish all the memories we have together sorry okay. <laughs> um i will forever cherish all the me- memories we have we have together thank you for filling my heart with so much happiness allowing me to love you and be your mom Mom, Sweet. come here. You're amazing. That was incredible. I'll tell you what. I love you. Me too. 
Oh, that was for your mom? I thought you were... Yeah. <laughs> I, was just, I was saying, I love you too. We heard you like the band, why don't we? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm, or like you, yeah. Yeah, I do. Like, you know the members? Yeah. What are their names? Daniel C.V., Zach Heron, Jonah Maris, I don't know how to say his last name, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Corbin Basin, and Jack Avery. Well, they're going to be here in about a week. Oh, yeah. Right? They're going to be here in a week. Mm -hmm. So how would you like front row tickets? I would love those. <laughs> how would you like to go meet the guys in person? Mm, yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get you front row tickets. And you're going to go backstage and meet the guys. Yay. <laughs> and it's not like, you know how, if, have you ever gone backstage with anybody before? No. What they do is they bring a whole bunch of people back there. And you got to wait in line and they come in, they take pictures with you. And they don't talk to you. They're like, oh yeah, what's up with the take pictures, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that. When that's over, you're going to go back with those guys. Just you and why don't we? All alone. And of course your mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get one-on-one -on -one time with why don't we? Like, nobody else can get that. You can take pictures with them. You can hang out with them. You get an autographed CD. You get an autographed photo book. I actually have those here. You do? Right now. Look oh, at Wow. I have the CD already. Recognize already. these guys. Not like yeah, this. Yeah, not signed like that, <laughs> do you? Not like this, Priscilla. Priscilla. Open up the first page of this, which means all the guys signed it, which means you're holding a book that all the guys have like, yeah. had in their hands. That's <laughs> really special. <laughs> Your mom is amazing. You're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mom, is she a good kid? Does she do her chores and stuff? Yes, all the time. She's a very good kid. Do you, so you don't want to hold this over her head and say, okay, you gotta, you better do this. Take out no. the trash. No. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to it's, her. It's really neat watching you because the moment she walked in here, you've been smiling, mom. You've been smiling ear to ear. She sounds like she really deserves this special moment in her life. She does. She How does that make people. you feel? It makes me feel very happy. Very full of love. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming in. And this is a called a love up moment. Love thank up. You guys thank you. Nice.